My name is Chris Shubrashevsky. I'm with Resolute. I'm the CEO of the, one of the co-founders of the company. I've been mainly a writer uh, uh, most of my previous lives. I've uh, helped with uh, media and a newspaper and then a lot of business to business creation uh, and more recently a lot of uh, marketing sort of uh, texts. Uh, I, was, uh, I joined a company called the InMotion Orthopedic Research Center as one of its founding staff and uh, we went from three people to 16 people uh, and I became so excited about the opportunity to build businesses I wanted to create one of my own and uh, there were so many good opportunities here in Memphis for partnerships and for mentorship and uh, all those kinds of resources it became a, a pretty easy fit to create Resolute. You know, there's an entrepreneurial spirit in Memphis, and so a lot of people understand that a lot of people are trying to create new businesses. Uh, at InMotion, my, my uh, boss there and my mentor and my friend is uh, Dick Tarr, uh, and he has uh, helped start a number of businesses himself, and he's worked at the highest levels of corporate America in the creation of businesses. And so he has been very supportive. Uh, now, he doesn't let me out for 17 hours a day to go do these things, but as long as in motion is moving along and we're taking care of business there, he's been allowing me to, to uh, uh, do stuff after hours and sometimes at lunch. I think Memphis had some DNA. You know, they had some things that were built into its bones over a long period of time. And it's not that Memphis is, is, is necessarily unique for these things, but these things have made Memphis pretty unique. Uh, we have a really startling array of biotechnology strengths, particularly in the orthopedic area. Uh, we have a long history of music and entertainment. That's, that's pretty obvious. The whole area has been influenced immeasurably by its rural surroundings uh, and the ag bio that happens here. And of course, being our central location, the location of the railroads, the location of the river, the largest airport in America, and companies like FedEx and UPS uh, have made us a logistical center. So I think what's great is that we are now focusing on those strengths and trying to build those areas and trying to, to really make uh, those strengths our uh, preeminent identifiers as a city. The entrepreneurs have done a good job. They've done a lot and the support groups have done a lot and they've, they're worthy of consideration for a lot of different things. The thing Memphis has to do now is step up in terms of helping these young companies get funding uh, from angel levels all the way through. Uh, Memphis is a very sophisticated uh, investment town. Billions of dollars worth of transactions are happening all the time in real estate, biotechnology, agriculture, that sort of thing. There needs to become a burgeoning uh, um, sort of uh, developmental community that helps young companies that are, are, are worthy and have shown promise that they can get the startup funds that they need. Innova is an enormous, enormous step forward in this city for providing some of the help that they have provided. Uh, but if Memphis is going to become the entrepreneurial city that everybody believes it can be, you're going to need capital to fund that.